Good morning, dear friends. Happy Feast Day. Today is June 24, the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist. There are two Masses for this uh, celebration. One is the Vigil, and the other one is the Mass for the Day. And therefore, there are two sets of readings. The Gospel reading for the Vigil is about the, the angel foretelling the birth of John the Baptist to Zechariah. And today's uh, reading for the day comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 57 to 66, and then verse 80. And it is about the birth of John the Baptist. And I'd like to read it for all of you. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on to the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. So that text comes from the infancy narratives according to St. Luke. By the way, today, June 24, is also the fiesta of several places here in the Philippines. One is uh, San Juan City, and uh, there, no, the city bears the name of John the Baptist. At kapag uh, may piesta dito, no, basaan usually. Although this uh, year, because of the GCQ, and uh, for fear that uh, the virus will, uh, will spread because of people moving around, then uh, ipinagbabawal yung uh, basaan. No? The same thing is true with the Calamba City, the main church. Uh, the patron is St. John the Baptist, San Juan Bautista. And uh, in the church in Calamba, this was where our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, was baptized. So, piesta ngayon no, sa mga places na yan. So, happy feast day. And, uh, you know, this uh, gives us uh, some sort of a reflection uh, about uh, this uh, celebration. Because usually... When we celebrate the feast of a saint, it is uh, on his death. Although the John the Baptist also has a day for his martyrdom in the calendar, in the church calendar, that is August 29, the memorial of the martyrdom of uh, Saint John the Baptist. But usually, it is the day of the, yeah, like that, the day of the death of the saint, that is their birthday in heaven that we celebrate. But you know, in the church, there are three births that we celebrate. Of course, most famous among them is December 25, and that is the Nativity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang pinakatanyag na araw para sa ating lahat, no? yung uh, Christmas Day. And of course, also popular is the feast. It's not a solemnity, but it's a feast the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and that is September 8. Kung yung kapanganakan ng ating mahal na birhen ay ginugunita natin. And then, another one, of course, is today's solemnity. It's not just a feast, but a solemnity, the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. We celebrate these days because of the profound reason for, for these births. For Jesus, December 25, we celebrate God's sharing in our humanity. Jesus was born to redeem us. And then September 8, Mary was born for a mission, 
a very important mission to be the mother of God. And that's why her birth was of utmost importance. And then June 24, John the Baptist, why? Because he was born to be the precursor of the Lord, a very special role, a unique one. And he would be the one to prepare his way, the one who would preach of repentance. And in fact, even in some uh, passages, he was the one who began proclaiming the coming of the kingdom. Now, there's just a thought for all of us. We do celebrate our birthdays. In birthday ko, now we just uh, celebrated uh, the past days. Na, patuloy pa rin yung pagpapathank you ko. No? I'm, uh, throughout these, uh, these past days, I was uh, responding to the messages until now. So, ano pa po, no? hindi pa tapos yun. But it, whenever we celebrate our birthdays, that is our question. What is the mission given to us by God? Itong pagdiriwang uh, natin sa, sa kapanganakan ni Juan Bautista, no? it's uh, a celebration of what was the meaning of his life. And isa-isay nung kanyang buhay. And it was there to prepare the way of the Lord. What you see there in the, in, on screen is a picture of the spot where John the Baptist was born. Yung uh, pangalan ng lugar ay Ayn Karim. No? If you go to the Holy Land, please do visit this uh, place in two se separate places. One is where Mary visited Elizabeth, the visitation. Akyat ka And then you will, uh, after that, you come down and go to the place where, which is more accessible, okay, from the main town. You would uh, see there the church. And uh, inside the church, you would uh, find there the spot that you find there on screen, the spot where St. John the Baptist was born. And, uh, you know, there's a very good reflection by Pope Francis when this feast was celebrated in 2018. And that day, it was a Sunday, so it was the topic of his Angelus, June 24. 2018, and I'd like to read a portion of that, very short, of uh, what uh, part of what the Pope said about John the Baptist and that uh, celebration of his birth. And he said, The whole event of the birth of John the Baptist is surrounded by a joyful sense of amazement, surprise, and gratitude. Amazement, surprise, gratitude. People are gripped by a holy fear of God. And all these Matters, all this matters, were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. Brothers and sisters, the faithful people realized that even if in a humble and hidden way, something great happened, and asked, what then will this child be? The faithful people of God are able to live, in the, to live the faith with joy, with a sense of amazement, surprise, and gratitude. We look at those people who discussed this wonderful event about this miracle of the birth of John, and they did so with joy, happily, with a sense of amazement, surprise, and gratitude. Ang saya no, no? If uh, we look at our lives, ganun, no? whenever a child is born, there are these uh, things, amazement, surprise, gratitude. Na nung pinanganak ka, no, nandiyan lahat yan. Masaya yung mga magulang mo. Nagpapasalamat sila. And it's a surprise. And uh, if we look at the birth, feast of uh, the birth of John the Baptist, that should fill us with the same joy and gratitude. You know, uh, the one on verse 66 is quite, uh, it's quite important. And it's, it makes a lot of sense if we look at it from the uh, in, in the whole uh, perspective of this birth of John the Baptist, what then will this child be? Ano kaya mangyayari rito, no? With all this amazement, with all these signs, there's something great that is in store. And so, once again, no, let's look at this with that same joy and gratitude. Why? For it is a reminder of God visiting His people and setting us free. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Happy feast.